Yo, yo, hope everyone's doing good. So it's gonna be a really quick and short video um, showing kind of my process for uh, creating emails. Um, I got a few people asking how I do the designs and whatnot, so making this little video. Um, cool, so we're gonna go ahead and just, I'm gonna just show you some of the results from this. Um, so this, this specific piece of content um, that I'm gonna be recreating today um, is what we ran for our first Valentine's uh, Day push. Uh, it had a 25% open rate, uh, 0.7 click through, and then it generated about 20, uh, 20 sales, which resulted in like 748, um, give or take, because you know email reporting nowadays is horrible. Um, but yeah, what we're gonna do is like a little bit of that. Let's open this up, um, and this is kind of what I'm gonna be showing how to create. Um, literally all you're going to need is Clavio, um, and Photoshop and that's it. Like Photoshop, you can do literally anything. And so, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and start off with just a blank Photoshop file. Um, I'm going to call this Valentine's demo. I'll just call it that. And then let's go ahead and make um, the sizing can be whatever. I would just say make it vertical. We're gonna want it to be vertical and you just hit create. So uh, first thing that we're gonna wanna do is drag in a picture uh, that we're gonna wanna use. This is one, I'm just gonna use one of the same one of my wife holding this um, little fluffy thingy, right? So as you can see in the one that I already created, you know, we have this, this area up here that we're going to want to extend um, just to give, you know, a bit more space for the text. So first things first, we're going to take care of that. Um, let's go ahead and go to smart objects and um, reasterize. Is that how you pronounce it? Reasterize? Yeah, reasterize this. Um, that's going to allow us to go ahead and uh, go ahead and fill this like content aware fill this. So we can go down to content aware fill and uh, I want to remove a little bit here and we should, yeah, we should have a pretty okay, decent filling. Um, can move a little bit there. I think that's fine for now. So we can hit apply, hit OK, um, Command D to deselect that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just save this uh, just so we don't lose our files. I have had so many times where I, I like completely lose files because I don't save. So let me go to here. Content, beautiful. So we're gonna save it in here. Um, perfect. So next thing is let's take care of like that pink box at the top. Um, okay, is this is one? Let me select it. There we go. So let's take care of this pink box at the top uh, that I had on the other one. This could really be any color. I'm making it pink just for Valentine's Day. Um, and this is like the hot pink that I'm using. So we're gonna go ahead, set that there. Uh, we're gonna then go ahead and grab our text box, make it a bit smaller here. Um, pick your font. I like using this Avant Garde Gothic Pro. Um, so I'm gonna continue to use that. We'll keep it on medium. And I guess we can play with that in a bit, but let's also set this here on zero. Perfect. So let's just add, you know, you can have anything really up here. Uh, one thing we had in a recent email was a guaranteed delivery by Valentine's. I think I spelled that right. So we can just go ahead do that. So guaranteed delivery by Valentine's. 
And I'm noticing this here it looks like it has a border. Yeah, this looks like I yeah I didn't take off the stroke, so we're just gonna take that off. It's gonna make it look a little bit more cleaner. Um, but this could really say anything. Guaranteed delivery by Valentine's plus free USA shipping. Let's go with that, and then make this just a little bit smaller. Uh, just like that. Perfect. So guaranteed delivery by Valentine's plus free USA shipping. I'm just going to control S to save that real quick. Um, now let's take care of the text. Um, I, I guess I can put this on the side so we can have like a little comparison here of what we're recreating. There we go. Um, nope, that, that's totally not working. All right, that's better. So let's go ahead and create like, let's just, yeah, let's add the text in. So let's drop this guy here. Um, let's say it's a so this is going to be like the first part of our text i know that that's going to be like bold so make that a little bigger here um, and we can run up with the same hot pink let's go and add that second part so the valentines so valentines and now I know I changed this to, I think it's Sign Painter. Yeah, Sign Painter font. So you can run that up. Beautiful. So it's a Valentine's and then Day Sale. Now, let me see here. What I'm noticing is this here had a lot more, more space. I didn't really give it enough. Um, so let's actually do that. You can go ahead and go to the crop actually we can drag this out a little bit and what that will allow us to do is grab our um, box and our text and we can literally just drag it up a little bit just like that and then we can fix that back up by just dragging this bit down so just like that um, I'm gonna go ahead and move this just a little bit up and then we're gonna go ahead and grab these two, drag them both a little bit up. So now we have a little bit more space to um, add the rest of the text underneath. Let's go ahead and do that. So, oops. Let's go ahead and just say day sale. And let's stick that with the bold one. Lower that sizing. Drop it here. Perfect. So let's go ahead and play around with this a little bit more. Uh, so it's a Valentine's Day sale. I think this should be good enough for now. Um, we can always, I kind of want to make this a little bit smaller, just like that. And then take our text and make, put it there maybe. And maybe make it a little bit smaller. And this is just so we have like good proportions. If it's too weird, then it just looks bad. Um, cool, so the next couple things are just going to be like, there's only gonna be one, two, three, four, five pieces left in here that need to get stuck together. Um, let's start off with this wave that you see. So that's actually really easy to do. And I like doing this in a lot of my emails, like as a transition. Um, to do that, you literally, you just grab this, this pen tool. You go to 
kind of outside of here. Um, you, then you go to where you want the wave to dip, you, you drag. Then we go up here, drag a little bit, and then we want it to end out, so we drag a little bit. Um, and this is going to, let's just do that with it, and then we're gonna make it a shape. And we're going to make this, oh, sorry. We're gonna make this a white, white shape. So once we have that done, um, we want to make sure we have also our stroke set to uh, nothing. And then I'm actually going to go ahead and um, I'm going to go ahead and make these a little bit more soft. And that's just going to be um, to look a little bit better. So once we have that, that done, um, we're actually going to duplicate this layer by uh, holding Alt, I think it's option, yeah, it's option on Mac, it's Alt on Windows, and dragging it up a little bit. And that's gonna duplicate the layer. So you can see now we have shape one and the shape one copy. We're gonna drag the shape one copy that we just created underneath the shape one. So this is, let's rename it to shape two. Uh, so we're just gonna name this shape two. And we're gonna go ahead and change this color uh, for this shape to for the second shape to like a grayish. So like just a little bit off, so like an off white, if you will. And you're gonna see that's gonna create this like nice, you know, flow with the two of them. Um, and then you can kind of play around with how far in or out that is. I'm not gonna make it too, too noticeable, too big. So we're just gonna now grab both of these layers, drag them a little bit up. And now we have, you know, we have a little wave. So last part is going to be to uh, create this 50% off everything. Um, that's pretty simple to do. We're going to grab our text tool. And we're just going to say 50. So I'm pretty sure I have these as separate layers. So let's do 50. Uh, cool. So let's do 50. And then we're going to have our percent and we're gonna make this a little bit smaller right. we're gonna make we're gonna make it a little bit smaller um, let's see how we have it over there So 50% and then we're going to grab our off and same deal. I like to um, sometimes stack the percentage sign on top of the off. You'll see that some emails will have that. Um, some companies will have it like that. You know, sometimes it'll be 50 and then the percentage sign the same size. It just depends on kind of the aesthetic you're trying to hit, how you're trying to make it look. I don't think there's a right or wrong way. It really just comes down to preference and the way you want to make, you know, your email look. Um, so let's just drop that there. And I'm going to go ahead and drag these three over here. And let's increase the size of them. And let's drop them off like kind of halfway down, if you will. So they're sticking out a little bit. Now let's also go ahead and change this color to um, our black. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, open up the drop shadow. And we want to select our hot pink as the drop shadow color. Um, and we want to bring down, as you can see, we're, we're editing the off button right now. Uh, we want to decrease the distance so it kind of just looks like it's a you know, extension of it. Um, and then finally, just change this to about like 60 degrees. Um, and once that looks good for one of them, what's cool is we can just go and turn it on for the other ones and it will apply. So perfect, I think 
yeah that looks pretty good and the last thing is going to be just add you know very simple text that's going to say everything everything or you could say 50 percent off you know jewelry 50 percent off clothing hats whatever it may be um i'm going to just put it as everything here just because that's how we had it on the on the one we're trying to recreate here um and we can just increase increase the spacing between each letter a little bit hit save and i think that's pretty close i mean if i can say so myself that's pretty darn close um one thing that i am going to now show is um once we have the actual image i'm just going to quickly go through exactly how it's set up in clavio um I'm not going to completely recreate it, but we're just going to look inside of this one. We're going to go ahead and clone it. Uh, and we're just going to call this demo clone campaign. Uh, and let's continue to the content and edit the content. So this is how I had it set up. Um, we have just a very simple header link bar at the top. We have our image that we dropped in here. Uh, this image has a hyperlink which is um, linking the discount. So when people click on it, they get the discount code. Um, now, what, what's cool about this little transition that I talked about before is it kind of provides a seeming transition into, you know, from picture to not picture. Um, so here we have a button, exact same hot pink color code. Uh, here we have some text, you know, just saying discount automatically applied, exact same color code. Um, this here is an image. You don't necessarily have to have this. Uh, you know, I, I, I thought it looked good, so I stuck it in here. Um, I have this image that I sometimes just roll through different emails, and um, it's just a nice touch, in my opinion. Um, and then down here, this is, I guess, kind of the, the bulk of the email or the, the part where you have your call to action apart from this over here. Um, you're going to have the product block which is going to let you put um multiple products you know right now these are the only ones we have in stock so these are the only ones that i have on here but you can have as many or as little as you want um, and for the button text that's just the call to action that i personally like to have on there um, and then this that says let's get social and our little social buttons here both of them are kind of following the same theme that's it Hopefully this this helps. Um, anybody who's trying to recreate recreate some type of um, Valentine's Day content or just seeing my email style design and how I do it. Um, I know a lot of people like to use Canva. I am a Photoshop person, so I will always like do it in Photoshop just because I can do it quicker there. Um, but if you'd like to, this specific template, you can actually, I'll, I'll stick a link in the description to um, our Discord server or my Discord server. It's like completely free. You can just pop in there and I'll stick it into, let me see. So this is the server. I'll stick it in the email templates chat, like fresh server. I'll just throw in the template in there um, alongside with the video link. And then if anybody wants to just download it, play around with it, whatnot, like if you're trying to learn how to do uh, email design in Photoshop, um, it can help. It can, you know, give you a, a good head start. And if you want to just, you know, replace the image and run it for your own brand or e-commerce store, that's completely fine too. Um, but I'll stick that in there. And uh, yeah, want to make this? I didn't want to make this video too long. So 18 minutes in. Hopefully that helps. And uh, catch you guys later.